So once you open up the project in Unity, you will be presented to this page. Um, and this is the actual project that um, the developer has been working on. Uh, he actually implemented exactly the scene that you saw. So if you press play, you will be um, put in front of this wall. And if you shoot this, if you shoot this wall, you can actually break it exactly as he did it in the example picture. Um, the only disadvantage that I see here is that uh, there is no real flexibility in certain parts of the walls. So that's something that if you want to do yourself, you can do. For example, if you have a wall made of a different material or you expect the part of the wall to be hanging down, you know, and slightly moving, there is nothing like that. There, it's actually either broken or attached, but it's relatively um, realistic for solid walls, I would say. Um, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> so the only real things that you need from this project are if you go on the bottom left in the assets folder are the nv blast folder and the projects folder now nv blast contains the actual nvidia blast api so if you go inside it you can see that there are all a set of dlls that this is actually the nvidia blast uh, program itself um a few a few more scripts and this folder that contains everything under the projects folder um, there are a lot of scripts which i actually put even below another folder which i called nv blast implementation uh, and this is what uh, i believe the developer has done in order to implement nvidia blast into unity and actually make it uh, or merge it with the physics uh, of unity uh, so as you can see, when we press play, uh, the wall is generated uh, using this script, create walls. And this is something he made, he, he made he basically custom made for this project. Uh, and this is the way that all the chunks are being handled, basically. So you can see that um, if we go in the scene view, uh, each of these pieces is a chunk. And each of these pieces, pieces has a rigid body, a mesh collider, and a lot of joints that connect it to the adjacent um, chunks. And this is something that NVIDIA Blast doesn't do. Uh, you have to do it by yourself. And that's what the developer did in order to implement it into Unity. So he did a lot of work, and I thank him for this. It's, it's actually great. Um, Again, I'm not gonna. I'm not sure if I'll be able to use it in my um, commercial project, to be honest. But if you want to use it into your personal project, there's nothing stopping you from doing that. So that's great. Um, so once again, let's break the wall just for a bit of fun. Cool. Um, basically, uh, as I was saying before, the only two files you really need the only two folders you really need are the nv blast and the project now once you select these two in theory what you could do <clears throat> is, you, is you could you can simply press right click on them press export package and then you can make your cast your custom package um, exactly the way you want it um, and i suggest doing this actually I suggest exporting only these two, NV Blast and the project. You don't really need tools. Uh, once you do that, you can export, you can make a custom Unity package, and then you can import it in your own personal project. Um, this is pretty much it. Once you do that, you should be able to have it up and running in, you know, uh, not too long. Um, you might encounter a few issues uh, in your project. Um, if you do, just let me know in the comments. I can give you, um, you know, a quick help to debug that or fix that and have NV Blast running properly. Um, of course, now there is an issue that uh, I want to tackle and I, I want to um, talk about, which is pretty important uh, if you have your own project, of, of course. And so I'm going to go to my own project and show you uh, what the issue is.
so we are back into my project so as you can see um, here in my scene I actually have uh, right here under scripts I imported basically uh, Nvidia Blast so I have the fractures folder utils weapon uh, actually I don't really need this folder to be honest the fire gun and fire gun at it um, no fire gun out I don't need this uh, I need this however so this is the actual Nvidia Blast uh, API um, so I have it just in you can put it in any folder it will work it's fine now as I showed you before um, in the example project in order to create a wall um, the developer um, created an empty game object which I did right here I called it blast and I attached the create walls script to it however what if you want to insert your own custom mesh that's the big question right because you don't want you just you don't want just walls you want your own custom mesh to be uh, to, to be um, you know split into chunks you want to be able to destroy the, your own model if you want and to do that the only thing I did actually uh, if you open up the create walls script you can see that essentially in the start method um, I substituted the original um, command uh, which was to create this uh, cube mesh object uh, cube mesh object of mesh type uh, with this other command which essentially um, grabs the cube mesh game object which I um, set into the inspector which I passed into the inspector so in this case it will it is the game object that I made using pro builder and then I grab the mesh filter component and I actually grab the mesh um, of that uh, mesh filter component so the only basically the only thing I did is I feed the game object and I grab the mesh of that game object and then what happens is that I let the script handle that and as you can see it's it, it, basically the cube mesh is now it becomes an input of Nvidia Blast later on um, and it will be fed to Nvidia Blast and Nvidia Blast will return all the chunks of that mesh basically so it's as easy as that you don't really need to change anything else if you want and you'll probably need to do that at some point you might have to change the um, position the transform position of the fractured mesh uh, this really depends on how uh, you handle it um, so it's something that I can't really explain um, uh, it, it really depends on how how you want to handle it because uh, of when it's creating the fractured um, uh, mesh it will uh, essentially reposition it so as you can see the developer here added a, um, a vertical component to it to make sure that the, the the wall was grounded but you might not want that for whatever reason um, and then something else super important is this part now in this section um, the developer uh, made this section in order to uh, ground the wall or essentially put a frame to the wall what does this mean it means that if you do not um, so in unity as we will see in a second there are four checkboxes and each checkbox essentially asks if you want the wall to have a frame a bottom frame a right a left or a top frame if you give it a frame what happens is that um, all the chunks belonging to that frame so all the chunks for example at the bottom of the wall if you assign it a uh, bottom frame will be kinematic rigid bodies and they will not move no matter what they will be standing still there and they will act as a frame they will hold all other chunks and this makes the structure break in a very realistic way if you do not have any frames no rigid bodies will actually be uh, grounded or uh, you know still they will not be kinematic fully kinematic so what happens is that if you hit the wall the wall will really behave like a jelly kind of thing and this is something that is also explained on the git repository if you go look at what the developer wrote so 
of course, your suggestion is ground, ground it, ground the, the, the frame, you know, ground it if you can. Uh, when you ground it, however, um, uh, you can change some of the inputs of the physics overlap box, which is used to select, uh, specifically select the chunks that are being grounded. So you can change the dimensions of that, but that's something you can do. And it's, um, it's a bit confusing, actually, but it's fairly simple once you get it. Uh, a suggestion I give you is to actually um, draw, like use a function such as this one to, uh, uh, this is something I, I, I put in here, to draw the actual um, overlap box uh, on the scene view so that you can actually see how big it is and how it affects your chunks, which, funks, which chunks it, it, it's actually affecting. Um, and this is pretty much it. Everything else in every other uh, script, you don't really have to touch. You don't really have to touch that, you know. So, so th this is code-wise. It's 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 this essentially. So I came back to Unity here for a very final demo demonstration on the actual uh, frame. Uh, now for the frame. I, I'm going to show you right now that I always have the bottom frame ticked. So when I press play uh, and we go to the scene view and I pause the game, uh, you can see that the bottom chunks, for example, this one has a kinematic rigid body. This other one has a kinematic rigid body. This other one has a kinematic. Oh, this one does not uh, for whatever reason. Wait a second. Yes, okay, that's fine because um, if I draw the gizmos, you can see the overlap box that I was talking about before is only here. So all the chunks that are within this box will be um, will actually be kinematic. So is this one kinematic, for example? Yes, uh, yes, it's kinematic. This has a kinematic rigid body. This has a kinematic rigid body. But if we go to one right here. Well, this one is still inside. This one, for example, it does not have a kinematic rigid body. So the wall is grounded in this region, essentially. You can't move, you cannot move any chunk that falls in this region. Uh, this region doesn't develop vertically. It only develops this much in the vertical direction. So it's only affecting the bottom chunks, okay? Now, what happens when I do this? Well, this allows, as I said, the wall to be grounded and it feels much more solid. So if I hit it, You will see that we hit it. We go check it out. Actually, let's continue playing. You can see that the wall remains pretty solid, right? It remains pretty solid. It's and uh, it behaves like a wall. It looks like a wall. Now let's try remove that frame. If I do that, and I look back at the gizmos. Well, yeah, I'm still drawing. I'm still drawing the overlap box, but honestly, uh, it's not there in real life. I'm just drawing it all the time. So now we break it, and look what happens. Look what happens to the wall. It's all wobbly. It's not grounded. It just falls down. It looks like um, I don't know what it looks like. It's very wobbly, you know. Um, so it doesn't look like a wall. Um, it looks more like cheese than than a wall. So the thing is that. Uh, it's not really behaving like a wall. You can build it like this if you want, and that's totally fine. It really depends on what you want to simulate. Um, but that's what grounding gives you. It gives you a more solid um, behavior, let's say. So guys, I hope I covered most of the aspects in this video. Uh, I hope you're happy about this. And if you have any questions or um, if you want to know more either about the game or NVIDIA Blast, just let me know in the comments below and um, see you next video. Thanks for watching.